back to another episode of Minecraft Modded Edition. This is Minecraft 1.12.2. First things first, I want to start off today with a little something something. I woke up this morning, I could barely walk at all. I got my uh, walker out, um, got my cane out, and I've just been kind of hobbling around the house ever since then. I got my coffee. You know, I just took a, uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know what happened while I was sleeping. This happened two days ago. So this is the second day that I'm having trouble walking. I don't know what happened. Um, been in a lot of pain and I'm just recording a lot of videos back to back to back to back. So you guys, there's going to be a lot of Minecraft data. It's all pre-recorded. Um, I have an entire week of Fallout 4 uploaded already. Um, beta, I haven't uploaded that yet. Um, Rising World has returned to the channel, and that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a Monday through Friday. I think I'm gonna release that at 10 o'clock in the morning. I can't be exactly sure, but yeah, I wanted to start today's episode off with a little bit of a uh, update as to what's going on. Um, a lot of pain. I don't know what happened. It's just you wake up one day and your legs and your back, they just don't want to work right. And it just hurts. So, I don't know. Let me go ahead. Let's get this world fired up, guys. I'm not leaving the webcam on because, well, you know, I just don't want to leave the webcam on while we're playing this game. So let's go ahead. Let's end this little clip right here and let's hop into the game. See you guys later. And hello everyone. Welcome into Minecraft Modded with yours truly, Arcane. Uh, we got ourselves a little bit of a setup over there. It's kind of a little bit of a spoiler, I guess you one would say. It's today I want to work with grid power. Yes, I want to work with grid power. And the reason I want to work with grid power is... The reason I want to switch over to grid power is because, well, I see two over inside of there. It's not working too well for me. I mean, it's we're getting the energy. It's able to do the stuff and things that we want it to do. But we need a type of energy, something that we can depend on. Now, I did decide to go ahead and start working on build craft. But unfortunately, they switched from RF all the way back to what they did in beta they put it they returned it back to minecraft jewels why why is beyond me why would you reverse all of the work that you have done and take it back to what it was in the beginning i don't know so i got this little setup over here and well let's go take a look at it okay um uh, this right here is a water mill. Now, how you make that is you put yourself a little bit of a polished stone in here. And to make that, it's basically you take four pieces of stone, you cook it up, you turn it into stone bricks. From stone bricks, you turn it into polished stone and yada yada and a two by two. Um, and then if you want to, you can come inside of here and you could use this to uh, kind of create some grid power. And this is manual, you know, kind of simple. It's kind of easy. All right, you'll see how it goes up, and then it went down right there, right? Which means we just made two of those. Yay! All right, so we make... What do you use a stone burnt for? Okay, we'll look this up, all right? You can... I said recipes for it, you creep. Uses. There we go. All right, so you can make a lava mill. You can make a water mill. You can make a windmill, which generates power from wind, boosted power by rain. Uh, north south block clear must be clear base power given is 1.0 what we can do is these things right here i didn't think much of them till i actually looked it up and if you put these windmills at the top of the world you get a lot more grid power than what you normally would so you could actually take them you stack them all right say this is one you leave an empty spot this is two, you leave an empty spot. This is three, leave an empty spot. So you start at 256 and just work your way down until you got enough of these. And <laughs> you, 
You could use them to create other things like fire mills, dragon egg mill. I don't know what this does. I really don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Um, you can make a screen for advanced info. Um, a player chest. Uh, control for more info doesn't really give me too much. I can hit shift. I'm not getting much in the way of that. We can make an indexer, a wireless RF battery, which is really nice, which means we can store energy using this. And it might be a little bit more way of automating some things. You get a wireless RF transmitter, which means we could transfer power wirelessly without depending upon that first the first thing that we did earlier, remember how we were messing with all that stuff with actually additions? Well, I kind of want to skip over all of that stuff and get into something that we could use. This is our quantum quarry. It only, it, we do have to go to the end for this, which requires nether stars and stone burnt and all that stuff and things. And I want to work my way towards this, okay? Um... Over these next few episodes, what we want to do, see this thing right now, it's creating two, it has a grid power of 1.36. Well, it's not generating anything, but if we do this, it has water going on it, but if we click on this thing right now, it's really not doing much, okay? Um, I think if I remove this. All right, now let's uh, try this again. Let's try putting that thing back in there. Um, grid, what is that? A powered furnace from Actually Editions. Oh, I must have brought one of them over here. All right, so it's saying we got some grid power, but not enough. Not enough to get this thing started, which requires 15 grid power. So what I want to do is I'm going to hop online right now and I'm going to look up the most efficient way from a very good YouTuber. His name is Azuma Void. Maybe you guys might know him. I'm going to go look up his video on how to use this stuff properly and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so welcome back. I feel like a little bit of a derp as to how I was doing this. So... What I was looking for is a way to build grid power, and the way this thing is supposed, to, the way this thing is working, from what I see, is that we could take this stuff. Now we need this needs uh, water to be able to flow down the sides of it, all four sides, pretty much. So let's go ahead and let's fix this up here a little bit. So I want the. Uh, I want the water to kind of flow in a directional around all of this, like in an arrow, if you know what I mean, right? So if we put this thing right here from the way I'm reading it, is now we're getting grid power. And if we come out inside here and grab ourselves another water source, okay, let's go outside We place another one right here. Now we're creating even more grid power. So and now we're generating 12, 14 grid power at the moment. And this thing can automatically do its thing. It can give us all the stone burnt that we need, which is really nice. I'm going to put a link to this guy's video in the channel, guys. I really want you guys to be able to go take a look at his stuff. Um, I thought I put more stuff inside of there, but I guess I didn't. Um, however... I think I'm going to, uh, because I'm running out of stone, you can see we're running out of cobblestone. I can't believe I'm saying that, but we're running out of cobblestone. So I want, for the time being, we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep with this right here until we can get the power tools up and running with it. But yeah, that's a bit noisy. All right. So we're going to let that do its thing. This is now generating an easy... 14 so any stone burnt that we put inside of here we could use it let's see what else we could do inside of here can we put redstone no can we put a resonated crystal in there no so what can we do with that hmm. well part of the noise but uh i don't want to all right let's grab a piece of lapis i want to try that what happens if we put lapis inside of it what do we get if we put lapis inside of this thing? Ooh, it does make something. 
And you can put a speed upgrade inside of here as well, which is really nice. So let's look that up. Speed upgrades. This is for actually additions. This right here is one we want, so it gives you a piece of gold. Upgrade base. You put a... All right, all right, we can do that. Ooh, what is this thing for? All right, let's see what this thing is used for. Uses. You can make magenta wool. You can make magenta terracotta. You can make stained glass. We can do... We could use it for magenta concrete powder. Oh, we can make a bed with it. But a lunar panel gives power during night hours. But so does this right here. Um, but it's also less noisy. Okay. Um, that's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and let's grab ourselves a bunch of uh, stuff in there for that. Wow, that thing is noisy. There, give us this. Let's go ahead, let's put this thing through there, because we're going to need it. There we go, we got 24. 24 of these, so we just need to put... All. In order for us to do anything, we need a lot of stone burnt. Okay? And I think I got a way I want to automate this, alright? So, what, I, what extra utilities does have, it has a uh, crusher. So, if we... Let's see here, let's look at... At extra utilities. Okay, so you can see how you get all this compressed stuff and things like that, right? The mechanical crafters and all that stuff and things. Okay, uh, here's your polished stone, which is something I really do love the texture of. I think we built with this already. Stone burnt, trutchet. What is a trutchet? And how do you make it? <laughs> Blue quartz. Resonating crystals. <laughs> you can actually see what grid power we got right now, too, while it does its thing. Wireless RF. Ooh, nice. Well, how do we generate RF with this? Hmm. Well, first things first is let's make one of these. It's a speed upgrade, which is used with a uh, weighted pressure plate. Now, weighted pressure plate, that's two pieces of gold. So, one, two, here we go. We can even click on this for recipes. Where you get stone burnt, you can get uh, red coal. Ooh, red coal. Upgrade base, that's the first thing we need. All right. So, let's yoink this out. Let it finish doing its thing right there. Let's put a weighted pressure plate in there. While that does its thing, we need... What else do we need for this? That'll create that. There's that. Let's put this back up inside of here for right now. This requires one this and one piece of gold. Ooh, we can do that. We can do that. You know what? Just click on this. Get into the noisy room. It's a bit noisy in here. And up here. Oh, we're missing a piece of gold. Get a piece of gold. There we goes. Let's make that speed upgrade. Boom. Alright. So, this thing we can place inside of here. And now you can see how it works. It makes this thing work a lot faster. So now we can get all the stone burnt that we want. But we also need... I want to build a cobblestone generator. Alright. I want it to auto-craft into... I want it to go... I want to build a cobblestone generator. Okay. We're going to feed that into a compact chest. Which will be this thing. Okay. Um, let's see here. I should have two of them. There you go. Just get this. All right. We're going to build a cobblestone generator. It'll feed inside of this. From this, it'll feed into a furnace. I do believe they have one. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. There we go. A furnace generator, which is a machine block, some furnace, and some of that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a... Uh, no, that... Whoops. That's not what I wanted. All right. Give me that. 
There we go. We need... It needs to be a furnace, not a furnace generator. All right, so here's the crusher. All right, now this is made with pistons, a machine block. That's pretty cool. We can actually craft that up. We actually have everything for that. Okay, so let's let's get some of this stuff. What do we need? We need some wood. Oh, we got wood. We got wood. Put that away. All right, we need some cobblestone. Let's grab what we have. We got right here. There we goes. This is done. Nice. Now we can go ahead and put the, this inside of our grid machine. So this is what I wanted to do, okay? I wanted to first cook it, and then I wanted to craft it into this. And then I wanted to craft from that into these. And then from those, I want them to go into here and come out. And enter a chest where we get a, lo a whole bunch of stone burnt. I don't, I don't know why, but there's a part of me that just says I want to do this. Now this requires bricks and a machine block. Lucky for us, I do believe we got some. Let's see here. We got some bricks. We got bricks. Do we got bricks? Come on. We gotta have. We gotta have some clay. I know we got it. Wait a second. That's nether brick. Tell me I didn't bring any bricks over here. I didn't. Wow. All right. Well, let me head down below and find myself a river or something. And uh, get some clay and I'll be right back. All right, guys. We got our we got our bricks. We needed our machine block, which I made these. I made a few of these things already. So let's go. Whoops. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look up the recipe to show you guys this. All right. What this is, it's four pieces of redstone, four iron around a chest. So, yeah. Minecraft, please respond. Thank you. Okay. So, what we need to do is we're going to take these eight, eight pieces. We're going to put them around like so. And get our machine block. Ooh, what is that? That's bakeware. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Let's put one of these in there. It gives us a furnace. Now, this furnace, it uses... So far, it, it's only going to use one grid power out of the other, okay? So if we take this thing outside... All right. Now, let's say we have this thing down here, okay? Let's put this thing down. Now... It, you could put speed upgrades in it. It's you could have it to always on, redstone on, redstone off. So I want to put this thing like this right here. Now, if I put this inside of here and I put it to always on, right now it doesn't have any RF, so we can't really do anything with it. Um, we need to figure out how to get RF out of the uh, out of the uh, stuff. How do we get RF then? This is a sun crystal, which is a diamond around that. But then again, that's only so much, and I still don't know. What is this thing even used for? Um, you could use a sun crystal plus a book in an anvil to get unbreaking three, unbreaking one. Mending, ooh, which only costs two levels. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh, except for you need the mending book for it. <laughs> and you can also get... I think you get your crystal back at the end of it. Okay, so you can enchant these things. Not bad. Uh, you can get a screen. What we're looking for right now is a way to generate RF. Sandy glass. That's glass with this. Sandy glass. Ooh. Okay. We need a way of making redstone. We should probably do this on the inside of the house. Yeah. And we might as well grab this thing, too. Darn terrain. <laughs> forget it. Just forget the terrain for right now. All right, let's 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 get inside here. I mean, this is the one part about modded that I really love. All kinds of things are possible. Let me uh, pause this, guys. I'm going to set this bug bugger down right here. And I'm going to see if I can figure out how we get RF. All right, guys, you know what? I'm kind of a dummy on this one. I made this thing earlier because I couldn't figure out what we would use it for. But this thing right here, it's a culinary generator, and it creates RF. 
for us. So we could actually, if we had a uh, energy cell and those energy transfer nodes, we could actually use these. So we got our culinary generator and how this thing works, it works by the best food that you have. All right, so let's look inside our food plants right here. We got rice bread, we got hamburgers, we got pumpkin stew, we got spring salad. Actually, we have a whole lot of spring salad. Let's go ahead and let's put that inside of this. And it should automatically. There we go. And we can cook up all the cobblestone we need to. Haha. -ha. Nice, huh? We got power. <laughs> and if we wanted to, I could always go all the way back to base to pick up all the other stuff. We should be able to fly infinitely around the entire world now to uh, get some stuff and things. We don't have to worry about this. We can use these. There we go. So we can start to put some of this in here. What I want to be able to have, though, is a... What I want to be able us to have is like an infinite amount of this, an infinite amount of stone, stone bricks, you know, stuff that we could use for building with. So I think next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, I'm going to get us a piece of lava and we can just, we're going to get a piece of lava. We're going to fix this up off camera so it actually looks nice and it's producing the max amount of RF that we can get. Because you can see right there you go. And let's take the speed up upgrade out of here just for a moment, okay? Let's go inside here where our furnace is. If we put a speed upgrade in there, look how fast that thing goes. And it's not as noisy as that. So not only is it using grid power, but it's using... But it's cooking everything for us. That is really, really nice. And I want to be able to automate this stuff. And we're going to be doing automation with extra utilities. So, yeah. We need lava. Haha, <laughs> we need lava. So, till next time, everybody. Take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'm out of here. Later.